Do you want to learn how to make doorways like this? Well stay tuned because I'm going to teach you about unions and how to use them in Roblox Studio. What's up guys, Ice Time here, and let's get started by talking about what is a union. A union is just the joining of two parts in Studio, but you can use it in combination with negating parts to make cool things like doorways, windows, and all kinds of new shapes. Let's start by making a basic doorway. Don't worry about any of the colors guys, I'm just going to change them up to make things easier to see. So we're going to make a little wall, we'll make another square cube here, and we're going to make sure that the cube is wider than the wall. Okay, this is important for unions. You want the part that's going to be a negated part to be wider than the part you're hollowing out here. Um, so as you can see on each side of the wall it's sticking out so that's good. So now I'm just going to click the negate button on the modeling tab and that's going to turn it into a negative part. And what we're going to do from there is we're just going to click the negative part and select the part we want to union it with. In this case our wall. And then on the modeling tab you're going to select union. And this is going to hollow out the wall in the whole area that was covered by the negative part. And that is what a union is in its simplest form. So just like that, we made a basic doorway. All right, so now what if we want to make something a little more advanced? Maybe we want to make uh, an arched doorway instead of just a, a squared off one. So it's the same process, guys, all right? Now, I've, I've already made my parts and kind of lined them up. But what you're going to do is take a square and take a cylinder and you're going to line them up uh, so that the square part lines up with the same width of the cylinder like I have here. And then uh, just with them both selected, make them negative parts, select your wall again, and then click Union. Alright, now that we have the doorways made into our wall, you're going to notice that there's some weird color overlap from uh, our negative parts. So you can see there's green in the square doorway and some blues in the other. No big deal guys, one of the properties in your unions is a property called Use Part Color. And it's just a true or false, the boolean, you can check it on or check it off. And we're going to check that on and then we can change the material and the color of our union. So let's make it the brick wall color and material. Alright, so let's get a little fancier now. Let's make a doorway for our archway here. Um, so you can see I just duplicated the same parts I used to make the doorway originally, guys. And I've made two sets of them and I've slightly resized the regular parts to be a little bit bigger in the different dimensions than the negative parts. Uh, again, I'm going to make sure that the negative parts go all the way through. This way it hollows it out completely. And I'm going to select all of them together and just click Union again, just like we did with the wall. And once we get this all unioned here like this, now we can go ahead and click that Use Part Color property on the Unions Properties tab. And then we can set the material and color. First, let's rename this. Make sure you're always in the habit of naming your parts, guys. Keep your workspace organized. And it'll help you build and it'll help you troubleshoot down the road or make changes. There we go. Now we got a nice concrete archway. All right, now, super important, guys, when you're making unions, we need to test them to make sure that our characters can pass through them like they're intended. Uh, it's not uncommon when messing with unions that the collision boxes uh, are not what you would think and you get stuck. So test them out, make sure you can pass through them. If you can't, it's okay, don't worry. Select your unions in the workspace, go down to their properties, uh, find their collision fidelity property, and you're going to change that from default and you want to change it to precise convex decomposition and that should fix it guys so that's it that's the basics of unions in roblox studio i hope it was helpful tune in next time make sure you like and subscribe and until next time this is ice time signing off guys